What's going on guys? Kevin here, back with another video. I'm here to talk about an exciting new uh, sneaker collaboration that just came out. Advisory Board Crystals is a Los Angeles based brand that deals with a lot of sort of psychedelic new ways of uh, of producing materials, kind of really embracing that wabi-sabi sort of, sort of vibe, but also mixing it in with skate culture, streetwear, etc. So um, I remember hearing about them when Kith first had their collaboration with them, and like ever since then, they've been growing the repertoire and trying to grow it as organically as possible, not super feeding into the huge hype cycle. They do a lot of one of ones. They do a lot of custom sort of like weird dyes, etc. So I'm here to talk about their newest sneaker collaboration. I already did a review of their very limited initial collaboration. This was with uh, the EVDNT, the Evident. I believe that's what it's called. This one, super, super cool pair of shoes. Very, very comfortable. This is definitely the most skate ready shoe, especially because they put it on a performance model. Um, they had this a few weeks ago, or no, a few months ago, um, and I did a video review of them. Uh, you can check that out either in the description or a card somewhere here. Today I'm gonna be talking about their skate highs. So they released three colors of skate highs. They did um, an all, a crew color, as well as that classic Vans Navy, as well as a black and white mismatched pair. So I picked up the a crew color as well as the black and white color. Um, the navy color was, uh, I believe, the most limited, but also exclusive to their website, if I remember correctly. But personally, I thought the a crew cream color was the best. But now that I have the the black and white in hand, that might change. So again, Advisory Board Crystals, they have a very unique design language and design brand. Uh, they have such weird and intricate designs that mix in that wabi-sabi with street punk pop culture, as well as mixing it in with like sort of that rawness of trying to get back to uh, like nature, etc. So they incorporate crystals into a lot of their stuff, hence the name Crystals. So. The box I thought was really unique. It says crystals, vans, as well as has this sort of holographic tape that reads advisory board crystals ABC. So this one's mismatched a little bit, but I think the, yeah, the first pair was a lot more even, but this one's pretty, pretty damn mismatched. But they did produce a lot more of these. So uh, they were actually available on vans.com as well. So here is the white and black pair, very, very unique. I'll talk about those in a second. Let me get them both out. So for both shoes, they came with the laces that are already laced up as well as these sort of fuzzy uh, checkerboard laces. I think she came with two pairs of those. And straight out the box, this is actually how they're gonna look. So I think I'm gonna have to go more into detail, but this is essentially a shoe within a shoe, sort of Sakai-esque, but I'll talk about that in a second. Let me start off with the black and white pair since they have the most difference. So here they are. What they did is that they swapped everything so that it's almost like a yin and yang sort of vibe. Another cool thing that I think they did is that if you guys can see, there's the ABC debossed into the sole, which I thought was really cool. They had to have made a new mold for it. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is actually swapping the laces so that they sort of match the tongue a little bit more, which I think might be kind of killer. But yeah, here they are. Very, very interesting. The design of them, I'm just gonna use this pair for reference. Uh, they come with a hang tag that says, ABC Vans Skate High EXT Fall 2023, produced and programmed with specific energy and intention. So it's almost like a sample tag. Honestly, these shoes look like samples. They look so crazy and very, very interesting. So, so here the shoes are. Again, such an interesting detail. It's a mix between uh, like X, like ripstop, as well as suede, as well as canvas and leather, etc. So 
Starting from the forefront, Classic Vans piping, except it's a tonal cream piping, has a layer of ripstop fabric, suede underneath and suede all along the tongue. X-Pack, or not X-Pack, uh, like ripstop fabric here for extra durability. Black suede, short-haired suede. A very, very nice soft feeling canvas as well and a synthetic jazz stripe right there. And again, that double detailing, we have that ripstop as well as suede back here. There is a double uh, sort of, um, I forgot what this is called, but this is essentially like a donning strap so that it's easier for you to put on the shoe itself. On the other side, again, another layer of ripstop there, no layer of ripstop there. Uh, so I thought it was very cool. Uh, like their first collaboration, it comes with a bungee style lace, but it also comes with um, a rope, very, very thick rope style lace as well. And this is what I mean by a shoe within the shoe. So there are essentially two parts to the shoe. There is an outer shoe, and then there's an inner shoe that is stitched in right there. This also leads to them having two tongues. So we have this tongue that has Vans off the wall, as well as the ABC holographic sort of uh, material right there. And then we also have this tongue, the short tongue, that I think this provides a more snug one-to-one -one fit. You can even see that the ABC has some checkerboarding. Let me pull that insole out. Now, if I remember correctly, this is gonna be a Comfy Kush insole. So there is no Comfy Kush branding, but it says crystals, vans, and I believe this might just be their classic uh, foam insole. It doesn't feel as squishy as Comfy Kush or Pop Kush. One detail that you might not notice, but is a very, very cool detail, is that most vans have that additional strap and I can just pull it here to secure. They actually made that strap um, the checkerboard material or the checkerboard style. So I thought that was really cool to match the insole because the insole is also uh, like checkerboarded. Another cool thing to note as well is that both tongues are of actually pretty nice quality. Um, the inner tongue has a leather backing with a mesh front and then the Exterior tongue has really, really high quality leather backing with this padding in the back. I would not mind it if like I could potentially, I think I might be able to, I could potentially remove this uh, exterior or the interior, I mean the interior tongue and just use this as the actual tongue itself. That would be pretty cool. Again, that would, I'll probably have to do extensive uh, cutting, etc. but Again, I think this is a really, really cool pair of shoes. Now let me talk about the same sort of details, but on the Accru color. Uh, the only difference between the black and white and the Accru obviously is the color as well as both pairs are not mismatched. I think this color is definitely the most wearable of all three. The navy one trails behind because I just personally think this Accru color makes it feel like prototype-esque, you know? like before they start adding the crazy colors. And I think the black and white is definitely that like punk sort of look and that finished product look, but this feels like a prototype, you know? Same sort of deal, ABC with that elasticated uh, laces as well as this very, very thick heavy duty secondary lace that I laced through actually through the top to see how this would uh, feel. And honestly, doesn't feel that unnatural. I originally thought it was like, yo, this is going to be one fucking janky looking shoe. But once you have it on, kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Kind of nice. Uh, the only detail personally that I wish they would have changed is the classic Vans um, back stamp. I do wish that they changed it either to tonal or do something weird with ABC or maybe make it like holographic or something like that. I thought that would give it a cool sort of vibe. But all right, it's all good. And yeah, that those are the shoes. Uh, they retailed for, I believe, 120 something dollars, 130 something dollars. Um, I believe it was like 150 after shipping. But again, great, 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 like use of materials and such an interesting pair of shoes that I think 
people are going to love it or hate it. They're either gonna hate that it deviates so far from the skate high look, or they're gonna love it because it's like a reinvention sort of, they're trying to do something different because they easily could have just done this in a skate high model, not even added anything special or put in extra work or anything like that. They could have completely phoned it in and they didn't. They, um, they really tried something and I think personally it has to do with VF Corp trying to invigorate some more energy back into the Vans company because I think post uh, like Syndicate, a lot of that energy has sort of been dwindling down. That sort of cool factor has been dwindling down until I guess where it was a few years ago or two years ago where um, there just isn't as n enough like niche cool stuff happening at Vans. And I think this is definitely like a start of something. Um, I really, really like it. Uh, probably one of my favorite footwear releases this past year just because of the creativity and the cool usage of materials and design and remixing of a classic silhouette. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will do an on foot of these guys. I recommend going true to size with these. Um, I, They didn't really change anything from the skate high sort of fit. Uh, especially the Volt fit. I think it fits great, fits true to size. Um, I would also link down below if they're still available on Vans website. I remember when they dropped, um, pretty much all sizes were still available on the Vans website and I think that's the only other place to get them because I think they're sold out on Advisory Board Crystal's website. So yeah, thank you guys again. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.